Hi, I'm Courtney from Marketing, and today I'm going to tell you what's in my grooming tote. First, let me tell you about my horse, Socks. She's a 22-year-old quarter horse who I've had for the last 16 years. And in those 16 years, we've done a lot of grooming. If anyone knows me, it's my favorite part of going to the barn. Socks was my short stirrup horse, and we just did some very basic hunter huntsy riding growing up. So looking at my grooming tote, uh, the first thing that I would start off with, was, which is actually my favorite brush, is my curry comb. This one's been along for the, the long haul. It's, it has her name on it um, because I wanted to make sure everyone knew it was my brush because I liked it so much. This is one of my first brushes and one of my favorite things about it is it does a great job loosening up the dirt and hair but also gives a great massage at the same time. And when I brush socks, if you're standing in front of her, you'll see her lip going the whole time and she'll even move her neck so that it feels better for her. I also have another curry comb uh, that I've had since I got socks and this one I like to use on her face because it's a little bit softer um, and it really just kind of loosens up any hair and sweat that's kind of dried around her ears after, after a long ride. Another favorite brush of mine is the Mini Beastie brush. Um, it's colorful and fun and I use this for two reasons. After I've curried her, um, it does a great job kind of getting down at the bottom of the root of the hair and getting out all of the, the loose debris. But I also use it during bath time. Um, it's a great way to clean your brush, but at the same time really helps to clean the horse. Uh, the next two brushes I have are uh, kind of in the soft brush category. I have the Oster soft brush, um, and I also have the Smart brush, which is an antimicrobial brush. Um, and these are just a great way to put some shine on her after we've gone through the, the rest of the grooming. I also have the hoof pick with a grip, um, pretty, a pretty basic hoof pick to have in anyone's grooming tote and it just works great to, to clean out their hooves. And I follow that up with the Afal hoof ointment. Um, it keeps her toes nice and shiny so she looks great when she's in the ring, but also keeps them nice and healthy and, and moisturized so that they don't dry out. Let's see. Um, I've also got the Equa Super Detangler in Shine that I use on her tail. Um, this keeps it free of tangles and easy to brush through because everyone knows um, you don't want to be brushing through a knotty tail every time because then they won't have a tail left. And I also finish it up with the Equus Avocado Mist. This is a great body spray to help keep their coat nice and shiny and conditioned, um, but it also doesn't make them slick, so you don't have to worry about your saddle sliding off their back after you've sprayed them, sprayed them down with it, and it has a great scent. I also have the... Um, Shriner's Herbal Solution. Not sure if you can really see the label there. It's been hanging out in the tote for a while. Um, and I use this if I pull her out and she has any sort of um, nicks or scratches or anything like that. It's really quick and easy to just spray some on and helps her um, to heal up quickly. Socks is a really good girl though and doesn't tend to have many of those so this one's been hanging around for a while. I also have Thrush Buster. This is my go-to um, in the muddy season, so after there's their hooves are really wet and, and moist and everything's hanging out, packed up in there, um, this is a great way to kind of dry them out and make sure she doesn't have any hoof issues. I have a mane and tail comb that I use after the detangler to get the, uh, the tangles out of her tail. I also keep a bucket brush handy um, so that I can clean out her, her buckets after a ride, make sure she has some nice fresh water. That one's really important to me. And I also make sure to keep some uh, treats so that I can give her a nice reward at the end of the day. Of course, we can't forget to talk about the tote. Uh, the plastic grooming tote is one of my favorite ones because it's really easy to clean. Um, not that it's clean right now, it's just fresh out of the barn. Um, but when, I, when I'm when i doing some spring cleaning after the winter, I'll dump it out and hose it off and 
um, get all the hair off and so it's a nice way to, to start the spring off fresh. And it also has a neat feature where you can place it over a 2x4 so you don't have to keep bending over to get your brushes. If there's one handy in the barn, it'll actually suspend up in the air uh, on the 2x4. On the, uh, so your brushes are really handy and easy to get. Thanks for watching my video today. We would love to hear what's in your grooming tote too, so feel free to leave a comment or make a video of your own. And don't forget to watch our other grooming tote videos on the YouTube channel and subscribe. Have a great ride.